Hi. Oh, no, no, please, don't stop on my account. Actually, it's very cheering. I can use some cheer today. Well, not my singing. That helps you really in trouble. <sighs> I had this teacher one time, and she said to me that I was a very creative singer, but please can I sing in tune with everyone else? <laughs> I thought I was, but I thought everyone else was out of tune. Well, I'm glad you survived that to sing another day. Now, why don't you tell me what brings on this burst of happy song? <laughs> No, Maria Callas, I'm waiting. Oh, uh, one should be happy enough with life itself to be able to sing about it. Oh, yes, one should be, but uh, recently that one wasn't you. Oh, well, just because I sing like an old crow doesn't mean that I don't have the same feelings as everyone else. No, of course not. Well, it's been a very good day, what with one thing and the other. You know, this bank case is going really well. No, oh, finding some matching curlicues in our handwriting analysis, aren't we? Yes. As soon as I've got all this straightened up, I'll, I'll show you some of it. Oh, good. And, uh, oh, I don't know, what else? Oh, please, please, come on. Well, um, that's it, really. Oh, that's it? Why don't you explain your simply delirious happiness, then? My goodness, we're the cynic today, aren't we? Don't you believe me? Mrs. Lader, do you expect me to believe that this musical ecstasy has anything to do with our bank client? Well, there might be a couple of other things. Yes, a couple of other things like uh, requited love, because I see seated before me a very beautiful, fulfilled woman who probably would think that anything she did today, like stub her toe, would be reason enough to burst into song. Oh, maybe you're right. I think so. Who does Victor think he is keeping you in New York all that time? I mean, I had a heck of a time trying to explain it to Anna. Oh, you did just fine. Victor was so overcome with grief, I couldn't leave him there on his own. Oh, well, she did what you could. It's not your fault. You know, friendships is such a funny thing. You can spend your entire life with a man and never call him a friend. But I don't know. With Julian, it was as if... It was almost like we grew up together from the first time that we met. Well, boss, you two had a lot in common. You were both young guys, coming out of mob families. And I miss him. I keep seeing the way he took that bullet when he was trying to warn me away from the ambush. I keep telling you, boss, it wasn't your fault. Well, at least I'll get to say goodbye to him in a proper fashion. How's that? The memorial service. I must go to that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're going to go to Julian Jerome's memorial service? Yes, I am. Boss, this is one shot I'm going to call. I think you lost your way a little bit here. Now, Julian's funeral is going to be nothing but a shooting gallery with cameras for every federal, state, and local cop within the airline distance. How can I give a damn about that when a friend How of mine is I'll dead? I'll tell you how. One, Anna. Two, Robin. Three, your liquor license. Four, Robert oh, I get it. I get Five, it. I your get bank it. loan. Six, me, boss. Please. You're not going to go anywhere if I have to nail you to the pier. You're not going to go. You're not going to make it. Lovely. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, that sounds like about three you want me. That's a plan that I like. But sometimes we can be thankful to Robert. <laughs> well, that's another matter entirely. I'll see you here tonight, then. Bye. I love you. Mm. I'm thankful for that. It saves me from doing all the work. <laughs> I'll see you later. I'm in the mood for love oh, simply because me. you're Quiet. near Please, me. My husband. Thank God, woman. I thought you were just enjoying another obscene phone call. Well, there were elements of that. How do you know, anyway? Oh, you know me. I'm clairvoyant. True. Now, uh, aside from the uh, sort of details, just what is Duke up to tonight that doesn't happen every night anyway? None of your business. Mm. Actually, we're having a night alone. Robert called up and wants Robin over for a date, so you've got my daughter tonight. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Now we are wearing that. So I immediately called my man and asked him for a date. Oh, I can sit all now. Music, candlelight, wine, strolling violins. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, we are going to have a very nice, quiet candlelit dinner. I'm going to ask Angel to close up very, very early. I think that's a very, very great plan. Do you know what you can do? Why don't you ask Felicia over, seeing as you're having Robin over for dinner? Because she's full of happiness now that Frisco's fine. Now, that is a brilliant idea. Thank God I don't have to stay home with the telly and Robert all alone. <laughs> we'll all have a nice evening. 
Actually, I'd uh, sort of like yours better. I, uh, and not just the sex parts either. I envy you and do your companionship and closeness. Well, there are millions of couples like us. Well, dozens, maybe. But don't knock it till you've tried it, John. I mean, it's, it's really nice being married. It's very easy. You know what I do whenever I get this impulse to get married? I uh, go to a very dark, quiet room, mm -hmm. and I lie down <laughs> until the urge passes. Oh, now don't go throw anything. away. Go I'm on. Going, I'm going. Go People made the same mistake with Julian as they made with me. Like father, like son. They just assume that we're mob and everything else that we represent is, is just an act. And you think he was sincere? Absolutely, I think he was sincere. His old man may have got mad at him sometimes because he didn't believe his reforms would work. But Julian wanted to bring the organization. He wanted to legitimize it. He wanted to take the money. And he wanted... There was blood on that. And you know that. You know as well as I do, if you care to investigate any great force, you'll find blood in a hell of a lot worse. And what are you supposed to do about this? I promised Julian that I would take over for him. The only way to do that is not to be a part of the mob, but to become capo di tutti. That's boss over all. Do you think I don't know that? Now, is Jerome going to turn the keys over to you? He wants me to take Julian's place. I not only don't believe him, I don't trust him. Oh, come on, man. Do you think I won't know if he's messing me around? What could be better than to bring that bunch of cutthroats into the 20th century? To turn those loan sharkers into legitimate bankers? To dry up the drug traffic? You know, wouldn't that be something? Unbelievable, that's what it is. But that's taking one hell of a risk. So all it's going to cost me is time. It won't cost me one penny, not one penny. You risk a hell of a lot more than money. You risk the chance of ever being happy with Anna. a sec, I'll see. Angel, some guy named Victor calling for Duke. Do you uh, feel like going out there and telling him? Hold on a second, I'll see. It is delicious. Would you like some? Yes, please. Would you like to try a little piece, or would you like to try a large piece? You decide. Oh, let me think. How hungry are you? When did I last eat? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Was, was I there? Oh, yes. You were there. Mm. You know, I really should force you to eat something. Well, um, I don't really know what I want. Mm. I do. I suggest that we we go somewhere else. But um, you have this club to run. Mm. I also have a manager who can. Well, he can run it. 
quite well for me. <laughs> Mm. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Boss? Hey. I'm sorry, I hate to tell you this, but you got a call. No, no, no. Ah, uh, yeah, it's from New York. I mean, they said the problem can't wait. Well, I got you, will you? Yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. Why don't you go home and put a bottle of champagne on ice, and maybe we'll find something we can do with that. Okay. Yep. Bye, Angel. Hi, I won't be long. Mm -hmm. Duke, this is Victor. Yeah, how are you feeling? I'm all right. Don't worry about me. I want you here for the memorial service. Now, listen. You know, it's not possible for me to come to the memorial service. The place will be swarming with photographers. This will be a closed service. Believe me, there'll be no photographers. Now, all the guys in my family will be in town. We'll be meeting afterwards. You want to get started on Julian's dream? This is how we start. You got to know them. You there? Yes. I'm here. This is lousy timing. Timing can't be helped. It's up to you to make that dream happen. If not, it's more the old days. Only without Julian, maybe more so. So what's it going to be, Duke? I'll call you and I'll let you know. No, you let me know now. Victor, there's no way to talk to a man you respect. <laughs> 